Welcome back to Tractor Doctor TV. Today, guys, we're going to go over what I've decided to do with my two H's. So, uh, let's get started with that. I've decided that I'm going to do something I didn't really want to. But the more I worked with the one that I showed you guys back in my, uh, I think, Project Row video, the more I worked with that thing, the more I used it, to, just a little bit around the far, the, my little farm over there, the more I realized that transmission is, is just, it's gone. The only gear that really doesn't make you want to run away because you think it's going to explode is the uh, is road gear. So. I decided that I'm going to use it to get some of the other projects around here fixed. I got this H here that we brought in from Oklahoma, and then back out there somewhere in, in the back of the farm is the, the H that my brother and I learned how to drive. It was the first tractor we really ever drove, so I've driven. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I decided because A, I don't know if you can see, but I have my spark tester here I have absolutely no spark and if I'm going to take that thing off I feel like what I would do myself is I just take this thing off and I'm going to go pull the later on I'll pull the distributor off the uh, one at the at the over at, the, at my farm and we're just going to put a distributor on here it's a little easier a little easier to, a little easier to work with the um, Parts are a little, still a little bit more uh, readily available. It's getting harder and harder and harder to find parts for these old mags. So I think that's what we're going to do, guys. So guys, you can see we got it off now. Um, this thing, I wonder, after that the fact there was a pretty decent gasket back there, that this is maybe has been rebuilt at one time, which makes me kind of sad that it's not working right. But anyways, guys, from here, if you take the, when you get a distributor, you need to get it where it's the full, full thing, and not just the distributor end. Because the distributor and you can pull out when it has a little gear, you need the whole the whole assembly. And there's just two little, t little tabs on the, on, on the distributor. And then we gotta get them matched up into here. What I like to do though, before I do that, is I wanna get this engine, I'll get this engine over to top dead center. And it makes it a lot easier to uh, get it splined in and, and ready to go. So. Okay guys, so just to, to go over where we're at, first thing you need to do after you get the mag off is make sure that you're at top dead center number one. Then you need to get the distributor to where it is sitting at top dead number one. And then, then at that point you should be ready to put the distributor on. So guys, we're ready to put this on. You need to try to line up the spine here.
All right, guys. So this the, that's basically it. it. Make sure you got all the gaskets cleaned off, and and you want to do it a little more right than I did. Make go see if you can find get a gasket there. But just before we end the video, just a little bit of a overview, kind of going to go st kind of do step by step overview real quick. So step one is remove mag. Step two is set it to top dead center, number one. Step three is put on new distributor. And step four, hopefully, is start the tractor and drive it away. So if not, you, you may have to do some adjusting and stuff, but it's just minor. And other than that, guys, um, the why I was really left before I, get, I end this video is I need to run new... I want to run a new wire because the wire there is, is shot and you might have noticed in, when I was removing this that I just broke the uh, eyelet off because like I said I'm just going to replace all that so it didn't, didn't matter to keep that eyelet. Um, other than that guys I think we're at the point of if you like the video please share it if you feel like it was worth it um, worth doing so. Other than that guys I think we're at it. See you next time. Bye.